This is the story of Mercedes Iverson, a vibrant 30-year-old woman, and her husband, Trey Carter, a 31-year-old postal worker and podcast host. They were a young, loving couple, eagerly awaiting the arrival of their unborn daughter, whom they had already named Ava. But tragically, their promising future was abruptly cut short in a horrifying turn of events. Mercedes had a close bond with her family, particularly her brother, Jason Iverson, who was 29 years old. However, beneath the surface of their sibling relationship, a simmering dispute was brewing. Their dispute escalated into a deadly confrontation. What followed was a devastating act of violence, leaving Mercedes, Trey, and their unborn child dead. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Maple Heights, Ohio, a quiet suburb of Cleveland known for its peaceful surroundings and community gatherings. In this serene town, a tragic event unfolded that shook the community to its core. At the heart of this story is Mercedes Iverson. Mercedes was a vibrant soul who touched the lives of many. In her professional life, she worked as a licensed cosmetologist and makeup artist, mastering the art of making people look and feel their best. Beyond her career, Mercedes was a loving wife and a soon-to-be mother, a role she cherished deeply. Four years of greatness, and we looking at eternity, baby. Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. She had a loving family, and she and her husband, Trey Carter, were eagerly anticipating the arrival of their unborn daughter. Her family meant the world to her. Mercedes was known for her infectious smile, a beacon of joy that could illuminate even the darkest of moments. Her warm and caring personality endeared her to everyone she met. She had a heart that knew no bounds and was always willing to go the extra mile to help others. Mercedes was a beloved member of the community, cherished for her beauty, kindness, and generosity. Mercedes had a younger brother, 29-year-old Jason Iverson. A sibling is a gift by nature, a bond cherished and nurtured throughout one's lifetime. However, the relationship between Mercedes's and her brother Jason Iverson was a complex and deeply personal one. And on the surface, they shared a sibling bond that one would typically expect. They had grown up together, shared family experiences, and no doubt had many memories that connected them. However, beneath this familial connection, there were underlying issues that had escalated into a long-standing dispute. Jason and Mercedes had been embroiled in an ongoing dispute that had been simmering for some time. The exact nature of this dispute is not detailed, but it appears the tensions had been building up between them. On Labor Day, Mercedes, along with her husband, visited Stafford Park in Maple Heights to do a simple favor for Mercedes' mother, Cynthia Ivy. They were dropping off a stroller. Tragically, this routine act of kindness took a horrifying turn when Jason Iverson, Mercedes's younger brother, arrived at the park and confronted them. In a shocking turn of events, Jason Iverson allegedly resorted to violence against his sister and her husband. He opened fire on Mercedes, who was pregnant, and her husband, Trey Carter, in the park's parking lot. The Listen, is she breathing at all? No, it's blood everywhere. It's coming okay. out of her mouth. Okay, all right, all right. We're on the way, okay? Who shot her? Her brother. 
Mercedes was struck by a bullet and tragically lost her life at the scene. Trey attempted to escape, seeking refuge in a park pavilion bathroom, but was pursued and fatally shot by Jason. With Calhoun County Sheriff's Department, I have a, I have one male, black male down, gunshot wound, multiple gunshot wounds at Stafford Park in the bathroom. A bystander who happens to be a 13-year-old boy was shot and injured during the incident. Police and investigators arrived at the scene and learned that the shooter and the victims were family members. Revealing to the public that this shocking crime was committed by a man against his pregnant sister and her husband. Jason Iverson was arrested by officers from the Maple Heights Police Department shortly after fleeing the scene of the shooting. He has been charged with serious criminal offenses, including murder and attempted murder. These charges reflect the gravity of his alleged actions and the tragic loss of life that resulted from the incident. A married couple and their unborn baby shot to death in the middle of a park on Labor Day. Maple Heights police say the person who pulled the trigger was that woman's younger brother. Well, tonight, Just One Station spoke to the mother of the victim and the shooter. 31-year-old Trey Carter and his wife, 30-year-old Mercedes Iverson, were getting ready to welcome a baby girl into the world in November. Iverson's mother, Cynthia Ivy, tells me they had already picked out a name, Ava. They were very excited. Trey was more excited than Mercedes because Mercedes was the one that was sick. <laughs> she says the Parma couple was only at Stafford Park in Maple Heights on Labor Day to do her a favor, to drop off a stroller. Then out of the blue, you know, my son shows up and as soon as he sees them, he's just like, he just goes off. So I don't know what he was doing before um, that got him so enraged, you know, but he just wouldn't let up. Do you have any idea why your son was so upset with your daughter and her husband? Well, that's a long story in itself, you know, but the bottom line is he was holding a grudge. He just wouldn't let it go. It just festered, and I guess that was the end result. Never in a million years could Ivy have imagined that her 29-year-old son, Jason Iverson, would shoot and kill his own pregnant sister and her husband in cold blood. Him and his sister has always been close. You know, he's always been able to call her and she would bail him out of whatever it was. What do you think it was? You think he just snapped? I think so. You know, there were a couple of setbacks that he was dealing with in his life. And I guess he just couldn't handle it. Everything just came to a head. To my knowledge, he was supposed to have been seeking help. Being a parent, it's, it's kind of hard when you have grown children that have issues because there's only so much you can do. She says it's hard to accept that her daughter's killer and her son are the same person. It's very hard for me to come to terms with that, you know, because they're both my kids. Cynthia Ivey, the mother of the victims, shared her anguish and disbelief about the incident, highlighting the devastating impact it has had on their family. The victims, Trey Carter and his pregnant wife, Mercedes Iverson, were eagerly awaiting the arrival of their baby girl and were expecting to welcome into the world in November. Cynthia Ivey, Mercedes's mother, spoke of the couple's excitement, particularly Trey's enthusiasm about becoming a father. She described her son Jason's sudden outburst of rage as completely unexpected. She recounted how he appeared to just go off upon seeing his sister and her husband at the park. She admitted not knowing the specific trigger for his anger but mentioned that Jason had been harboring a grudge that had festered over time. She did not disclose what the reason for his animosity against his sister was. Ivy mentioned that Jason had been dealing with setbacks in his life and was supposed to be seeking help. Being a parent to grown children with issues can be challenging, and she highlighted the limitations faced by parents in such situations. The legal proceedings against Jason Iverson continue to unfold. On September 14, 2023, Jason Iverson made his initial appearance in court. The court proceedings shed light on key developments in the legal case against him. Jason Iverson was assigned an attorney, Mr. Sterritter, to represent him during the proceedings. Iverson was charged with two counts of aggravated murder, each carrying a penalty of imprisonment for life or the possibility of the death penalty. 
Additionally, there was a charge of attempted aggravated murder, a felony of the first degree, with potential prison time ranging from 3 to 11 years. Iverson pleaded not guilty to all charges. A charge of aggravated murder. Not guilty, Your Honor. Okay, and as to count two, charge of uh, aggravated murder? Not guilty. And as to charge three, a count of uh, attempted uh, aggravated murder? Not guilty, Your Honor. Mr. Steriter discussed Iverson's background, mentioning that he did not have a criminal record, had permanent residence in the Cleveland area, and had been gainfully employed with Walmart before his arrest. He also highlighted that Iverson had been receiving mental health treatment and had been prescribed medication. Permanent residence in the Cleveland area, he was gainfully employed, um, he's also seen a psychiatrist receiving mental health treatment. Considering the nature and circumstances of the alleged crime, the use of a weapon, and the weight of the evidence, the court set Iverson's bond at $3 million, with a requirement of 10% cash or surety. The case was bound over to the Court of Common Pleas for Cuyahoga County, marking the continuation of the legal proceedings against Jason Iverson. This ongoing legal process aims to provide justice for the victims and their families, while ensuring that the accused is afforded his legal rights. The community remains deeply affected by this tragic incident, and the court proceedings will play a vital role in determining the outcome of the case. The tragic events that occurred on that fateful day stand as a stark reminder of the profound and unnecessary loss of life that can occur when conflicts escalate to violence within families. In the aftermath of such a heart-wrenching incident, it is natural to reflect upon what could have been done to prevent such a tragedy. The key to preventing such violence lies in open communication, conflict resolution, and access to mental health support. Families facing disputes or conflicts should seek assistance from professionals who can provide guidance and mediation to de-escalate tensions. Moreover, it underscores the importance of raising awareness about the availability of mental health resources and encouraging individuals to seek help when needed. The repercussions of this senseless act of violence extend far beyond the immediate victims. The family and loved ones left behind bear the heavy burden of grief and loss. I extend my deepest condolences to the family and loved ones of Mercedes Iverson and Trey Carter, who tragically lost their lives in such a senseless act of violence. May you find strength, support, and solace in each other as you navigate through this tragedy, and may the cherished memories of Mercedes and Trey forever shine brightly in your hearts. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.